Greetings, it's Alia Tasha's GI Nerds. Today we're going to talk about a structure that's been found in Deliquin in uh, southern New South Wales and the structure crosses over into Victoria. And this is possibly one of the biggest impact craters on the planet, much larger than the uh, uh, Verne Fort crater in South, uh, South Africa. Uh, much larger than, and much larger than Chicxulub, the one that took the dinosaurs out. So we'll have a look at this, found by a couple of Aussie geologists uh, looking through magnetic data. Uh, still, so they've got to get out in the field and do some more drilling to be absolutely sure, but it looks pretty damn close. So anyway, hang in there. We're going to have a look at the Daniloquin structure today. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. So let's go and check it out now. Well, folks, here we are, just off the Story Bridge in Fortitude Valley. Let's whiz through the city. Uh, we've got to really scoot today because we're going down to Victoria. And with today, to see this, we've got to get we got to get high together. We really do. We've got to get really high uh, into space like high because uh, this structure is 500 kilometres across. You're not going to see her from the ground. So uh, there we go through uh, western New South Wales. Just spinning around now, that's a little town of Dunlequin down there. We're just going to pull back into space now so that we can get a bit of a view of what's going on. And if you look very carefully, you can sort of see this in the landscape. Maybe it's hard to say, but if you look for a very big circular structure, could be one there, could be one, it's hard to say. Oh no, uh, let's uh, draw a circle and see. Is there one there, sort of, could be? Uh, let's, let's put the mag data on here and uh, just see if we can see it. So that's the mag data. So yeah, there's something there, all right. There's something there. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll have a closer look. Let's have a quick look at the structure. What we're talking about here. This is the Moha. We talked about this once before. Uh, <clears throat> this is the edge of the continental crust and the mantle. That line there. And I'm going to show you a map next, which shows you the depth of the Moha in Australia. Uh, so this is basically how thick the Australian continental plate is. And uh, if we look around to Nilquin, the Moha is a bit thin. It is, it's a bit thinner than it should be. You can look at what's around it, there's a bit of a hole there. And uh, okay, there's some evidence, might not be but by itself, but there's other stuff as well. So uh, what we've got here is the uh, gravimetric data for the area. This shows us how hard the earth is pulling down there. And yeah, do I see a circle? Mm, yeah, maybe. There is certainly an influence there that could be circular. Then we'll have a look at the magnetic data and oh, there's a structure there. Look at it. You can see it. The magnetic data is looking pretty convincing. That's a hole. That's a big hole too. Now, Australia didn't look like this, of course, when this happened. This is half a billion years old or thereabouts. So, yeah, and here's some 3D magnetic data, and it's certainly a little more visible there. You can start to see that circular reference we're looking for. So, Australia wasn't Australia, of course. We were still part of Gondana, Gondwana, and there we are there uh, in the... Uh, and, and just to give you an idea, this is Cambrian. So this is really old. Uh, Ordovarian or Cambrian, probably Cambrian, they think, 500 million years ago. And uh, here's the detail magnetic data. Uh, the quince sort of down where those arrows are in the south. You can see Hay 1. These are uh, sample points where the magnetic data was taken. And uh, most certainly, uh, there's a shape there. Well, a couple of geologists have discovered this is Andrew Glickson here and uh, Tony Yates. Unfortunately, I don't have a photo of Tony Yates, so he's going to have to remain anonymous for now. Uh, a couple of Aussie geologists. Well, there you go, folks. We could have the biggest impact crater on Earth very soon. That'll be fun for Australia. Uh, I don't think you're going to be driving down to Denilcon anytime soon and looking at the crater. It's 500 kilometres across, you know, plus, and it's half a billion years old, so it's well weathered, well weathered indeed. But it'll be good, and it, we learn from this. The geologists will be down there looking for all the 
usual things, shock ports and the impact structures. Should be fun. I'll keep an eye on it and let you know of any developments. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I see you coming on board. Very much appreciated. If you know any friends who think might like this material, please uh, recommend it. I'd uh, really appreciate it. Anyway, Cabbage Street Creek coming soon. Uh, more of it, of course. Number one's out. We'll keep going. So you know what I'm going to say. Keep, keep rocking. T-Lux out. out.